Howdy folks, greetings to you from me, Jim Gaskin, and all your friends here in the old barn in Renfro Valley, Kentucky's country music capital. We're here as usual, in keeping with a weekly tradition that means a lot to us. A few minutes set aside to visit, sing some good songs, share some thoughts and comments about life and times, and just enjoy being together. A barn full of visitors and those who join us on radio and the internet are included as we say welcome to the Renfro Valley Guest. we meet to sing the old songs With the friends we love and know It's another fine autumn day in Renfro Valley. It's late enough in the season now that we can expect some cold weather, even a little snow. Some of us remember Thanksgiving weekend in 1950, maybe 51, I'm not sure, when we got a blizzard and below zero temperatures and it lasted about all winter. We're hoping we can escape anything that severe. Well, let's get started with our opening hymn and we invite you to join us. I must needs go home by the way of the cross. There's no other way but this. I shall never get sight of the gates of mine if the way of the cross I miss. The way of the cross leads home. It is sweet to know as I onward go The way of the cross we told Mighty big crowds of appreciative fans are making their way in here for Christmas in the valley. Every year I think it's never been this pretty the way everything's fixed up. But this year, I believe it really is prettier than ever. Twinkling lights, tinkling bells, carols drifting out on the air. Santa's workshop is a popular place, as usual. That's also where you'll find the tree of love. You may want to select a tag from the tree and buy some presents for the needy child whose name is on it. The big stage production, music and comedy featuring all of our entertainers, is performed each Friday and Saturday night in the new barn. We also have the Gospel Jubilee on Saturday afternoon and the gathering Sunday morning, and that's our show schedule through the rest of the season. For information and reservations, call us toll-free 1-800-765-7464 or visit our website and come to see us. Exit 62 off I-75, 50 miles south of Lexington, next to Mount Vernon. We're easy to find and hard to forget. And while you're here, be sure you visit the Kentucky Music Hall of Fame and Museum. We had a request for a song for Dot Sowers, Overbrook, Kansas. You all help me out and let's do Red Wing. lived an Indian maid, a shy little Indian maid, who sang a lay, a love song gay, as on the plain she'd while away the day she loved the warrior bold, the shy little maid of old, but brave and gay, he rode one day to battle far away, now the moon shines tonight on pretty red wing, the breeze is sighing, and the night birds crying Far away beneath the stars Her love is sleeping While red wings weeping 
her heart away. Birthday and anniversary time now on The Gathering, and here's Pete Stamper. Pete? Well, thanks, Jim. Joyce Coy, Jamesville, New York, celebrates a 77th birthday tomorrow, November the 25th. Elsie Slocum of Fulton, New York, uh, 86th birthday on November the 30th. Clyde and Alma Hires of Oneida, New York, a 56th wedding anniversary on November the 28th. George Williams of Otway, Ohio, 75, tomorrow. November 25th, on November the 28th, it'll be the 77th birthday of Orman Sitz of North Adams, Michigan. And Willard Hembry of Taylor, Michigan, celebrates the 77th birthday today. On November the 26th, it's the 71st birthday of Agnes Cox of Maple Hill, Kansas. Happy birthday, happy anniversary to all of our listeners from all your friends here in Renfro Valley. And we're going to call on our trio now for a pretty song that we dedicate to these folks today. As the world looks upon me As I struggle along They say I have nothing But they are so wrong In my heart Rejoicing, how I wish they could see. Thank you, Lord, for your blessings on me. Thank you, Lord, for your blessings on me. The trio goes out to Herb and Lucille Mason, Port Huron, Michigan. We got a nice letter from them. Well, this is our Thanksgiving crowd that's with us today. We felt it would be better to do the Thanksgiving theme this week than last. But truth is, every day ought to be Thanksgiving Day. By tradition, families gather at the home of the elders of a family and celebrate the day or several days with feasting, visiting, attending special church services, hunting trips, watching football games on TV, hitting the malls for some Christmas shopping. It's all part of the holiday, but it just isn't quite complete unless our plans include going home. The turkey, specifically the wild turkey, is the unofficial mascot of Thanksgiving. Plentiful in Kentucky when the first settlers came in, it was extinct for many years, but now they're back in huge numbers in the bottoms and near the woodlands close by here. They're such big flocks of them, it's like we've gone the full cycle. <laughs> Snow 
knows the way to carry the sleigh through the wide and drifted snow. Over the river and through the woods, trot fast my dapple gray. Spring over the ground like a hunting hound, for this is Thanksgiving Day. Over the river and through the woods, oh, the Thanksgiving joys we used to know in the long ago when we were but girls and boys. Dad and mother, sister and brother, with our cheeks and our hearts aglow, over the river and through the woods to grandmother's house we'd go. Over the river and through the woods in the sparkling frosty light, around the bend and our journey's end with the old farmhouse in sight. There by the gate, Grandpa would wait, where he'd shovel the path through the snow, with old dog Rover wagging all over us into the house we'd go. How the firelight shone on the old hearthstone, where we'd stamp with our snowy feet, and the warmth and charms of Grandmother's arms were such as no fire could beat. Then back once more through the kitchen door, she'd rush with a thoughtful frown, where smells would arise of the pumpkin pies and the turkey roasting brown. Just when we thought we would surely starve, the Thanksgiving feast was spread. We'd take our place to await the grace that Grandfather always said. He'd never had much of wealth and such, and hard were the years he'd spent on the road he trod, and yet he thanked his God for the blessings that he had sent. Over the mystical river of life, through the darkening woods beyond, Hand in hand to a better land have both of the old folks gone. And yet when memory turns the page to Thanksgiving's cold and snow, over the river and through the woods to grandmother's house we go. Cassette tape of today's broadcast, send $4.25 check or money order to Gathering Tapes, Renfro Valley, Kentucky, 40473, and tell us you want the Thanksgiving broadcast, and we'll get it right out to you. Come to see us. The season's just about over, and we'd love to see you again. Until we see you here or greet you on this fine station same time next week, this is Jim Gaskin speaking for all the folks here. Thanks for listening and so long from the Renfro Valley Guest.